Oh, it's Do You Hear Me with Unico Williams. That's right, it's your boy. Coming at you whenever I come at you. But typically, I come at you on a Thursday. Why? Because I was born on a Thursday. Uh, please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, I really appreciate when y'all do those things like that. I really appreciate the support. We are growing and growing and growing. Keep growing with me. I really appreciate when y'all do things like that because y'all just, y'all just so amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. But, uh, today I come to you with a very heavy heart. It has been brought to our attention days later, by the way, that the beloved mangaka a staple in the manga community, a staple in the world community. The person I'm talking about is Akira Toriyama. I apologize. I just, uh, let me go ahead and make that correction there. I'm sorry. We lost Akira Toriyama today. Now, uh, most of you know Akira Toriyama from the famed anime dragon ball dragon ball z dragon ball super the man who created goku vegeta krillin yamcha bulma gohan goten trunks and the cast of other characters the person who created a rally um the person that helped be the lead designer for the characters in the Chrono series. He passed away. Um, he had, I believe there was bleeding on the brain. He passed away March 1st in most of America. We didn't know until Friday-ish, Thursday-ish, late Thursday-ish. Uh, we didn't find out about it, but he passed away March 1st, 2024. Now, I, I'm not going to sit up here and bloviate. Um, I just want to spend this time to, A, give him his flowers. I've been giving him his flowers ever since I realized what it is to be a director, what it is, you know, you know, the credits at the end of a show and what they mean. And then I was, you know, I, obviously you would grow up from being a kid and you would understand what these people do in their roles. And this man is responsible for creating a character that I would hold on to. Um, now, you guys will remember, uh, you guys can definitely go back and look at when Stan Lee died. Stan Lee created Spider-Man. And we've talked at length about how big of an influence Spider-Man is on me as a person. We all know how if we help one person we help everyone so by just doing that one good deed just doing that one good thing for anybody could essentially cast a ripple effect maybe that person would be like wow this person helped me during this time and now that i got my things together or now that i'm in a good place and i'm able to bless somebody else let me bless somebody else and it, it continues because we're a world family that's what we are we're a world family Everybody is so caught up on their differences and and, you know, they're caught up on on a lot of times in themselves. Right. But once we take. Uh, a, a true approach in regards to humanity and empathy and caring about the person next to you. That's essentially that's essentially what make this world a much better place. Listen, they did all this stuff with Ukraine and all this stuff. Hey, we're America. We're going to give you billions of dollars while people in America are on. They're suffering out here, whether it be drugs, uh, whether it be all the different other influences and things that happen in our lives. And with that being said, we were a lot of times we're so self-involved that we forget about other people. But that's not what Goku that's not what Goku embodies. That's not what Peter Parker embodies. They truly want to help. And that's what I pretty much base my whole life and my motivations for everything that I do 
Because again, if you help one person, you help everybody, right? And I appreciate Akira Toriyama over the years. When I was a kid, man, I, I spent a lot of time by myself, honestly. And in and, and, and my past shows, you guys know, I told you about, you know, I was raised by my grandparents and I pretty much just sat in my room alone unless I had to go to school. And then I got into sports and then all that stuff. But as a kid, I just I just watched and, you know, I would see these, you know, these images on TV and see these people. I'm like, you know, Ash Ketchum and, and, and guys like that. I would look at just how they just had love for every person that they meet. Right. Um, so, you know, with that being said, um, I can't thank Akira Toriyama enough and I appreciate him. So, uh, with that being said, I'm not going to sit here cause you, you guys know how I feel about Goku and everything he's done for me. I just want to pay my respects. And so let's just, let's just watch this together. Let's just watch this together as a family, as a world family. Just let's just watch this together. That was beautiful. 
and that's a, that's our tribute all those adventures all the adventures we go on see it's not just about just watching goku's adventures but what about our own adventures our own travels through life right we go through our own adventures in life and sometimes we meet people and they become they're 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 our enemies at first right but then they become our allies at some point and then they become our friends and then they become our loved ones despite any of the wrong that's been done to you or anybody else by those people there's still always an opportunity for people to have a change of heart there's always the opportunity we have to have that openness in order for people to 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 encourage those kind of things there is no bad person there is no evil person i don't believe in that people can do evil things and they can do bad things but there's always an opportunity to have a change of heart and that's what goku embodies and that's the character that akira toriyama wrote because he believes that if you give it if you give people enough of an opportunity there's more good in people than there is bad when we're born we're a blank slate and things happen right but we can overcome those things and then we can try and do right by others so with that being said Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. You live in the hearts of a lot of people. We'll never forget you. It's very unfortunate. But we'll continue to allow you to live on through us, through our actions, when we do things out of love for the person next to us. It can be a stranger on the street. But again, if you help one person, you help everybody. I'm going to leave y'all with that. So with that being said, y'all know the deal. Uh, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Unico Williams on YouTube. Unico underscore Williams on Twitter. You know where the rest of the gang is at. Uh, Yesterday was Baller Friday, you know the deal. Uh, I didn't get to really get into a lot, but you did get a little bit of Spider-Man in. We're gonna be Spider-Man then. We're gonna get into Final Fantasy Rebirth um, as soon as I, I beat Miles Morales. I'm almost done with it. I think I'm at I'm at 92% of the story, but as far as 100% completing it, I'm at like 72%. And you know I'm a completionist. I gotta do my guy Spider-Man right, so I gotta make sure I beat it and uh, make sure it's 100% handled. Um, but we'll get into Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I know a lot of people have been beating it, but they don't be having no jobs and stuff, man. I got to live every day, dog. I got to live. I got to go to work and make bread right now until y'all make sure, until y'all just, you know, like and subscribe, follow me, and do all the things, right? So then I can spend more time with you all. But um, again, we'll just put it on the screen for you because a lot of y'all can't do it. You know, you need go Williams on YouTube. Also, uh, you can go to my website. My website is back up. I, I fixed it. There was some stupid URL and partner things stuff I had to do. But that's okay. We fixed it, um, and we're we're all in. So it's not unique. O Williams. Just put just leave out the O. So it's unique Williams on uh, dot com. That's where you can find my website. It'll take you to all my links on Twitch, Twitter, all those type of things. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Do You Hear Me mm -hmm. with Unique O Williams. I Rest up, Akira. Sama. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. Don't forget, every Thursday, the full podcast is on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Mama, I'm on Spotify. Overall 99 ENT bring you videos from Friday all the way to Friday. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. Again, thank you so much. I holla.